Hello everyone. Um, as we saw in my last video, I uh, told you I was going to be getting the Mac Pro set back up. So um, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So uh, story behind this, wasting away in my basement for the past 3-4 months and I just want to get it working. Um, yeah, so we're going to pop the cover off. If you can see my white finger there, please ignore that. I was cutting a... Uh, a hole for the charger to fit into my phone because it was running out of battery in the tripod and the custom enclosure thing I made. Uh, I had to make a new one and I uh, I was holding it like this, putting the knife, stupid me, scored right across my finger and that's just kinda, yeah. So um, I don't know how well you can see, we have our four hard drive bays that are very dirty because of fingerprints and uh, stupidity, me not knowing that that would ever happen. But um, yeah, don't use like a microfiber cloth when touching these because they get dirty and there's no way to take that off, not that I can see. Um, so in here, let me see if I can move the tripod down a bit. All right, sorry, this is gonna be pretty wobbly for a sec. And we'll adjust the camera angle. But you can see in here we have a GT120. Oh, that's just a standard Mac Pro stock graphics card. No hard drive, standard optical drive. That sounds uh, terrible. And we're going to be upgrading this a bit. So uh, we're going to be putting in uh, ATI Radeon HD 5770. I don't know if you guys can, excuse me, see that down here. Um, an SSD and a hard drive. So SSD, um, if we look back upon my Mac Pro upgrade videos, we'll notice we got a, five ter or a 500 gig, 512 gig uh, SSD out of the MacBook Pro. And we're going to be putting two partitions on here, a 128 gig and like a, seven, or a 384 gig, I think it was. It ends up being like 372 partitioned. But you can see um, that's the SSD, and we're going to be throwing a 640 gig WD black in there. And that's going to be for video editing and stuff. Um, so um, let's go ahead and upgrade the graphics card first. So uh, I didn't say, I said we were going to be putting in the 5770, not taking out the GT120. So we're just going to be putting that up another slot or another couple slots because I'm running three displays off this and I want to run a uh, graphics card, like a dedicated graphics card for the third display. So I'm going to remove that little bracket and we're going to pull that fan back. There's a button on the side. So uh, let me move this tripod down a bit more so we can actually see what I'm doing. And I'll adjust the angle as well so we can see in there. And I'll tripod's broken. Um, let me, this is so trippy right now, I'm sure, but um, yeah, I just have to reach the tripod around the uh, charger for my phone. That caused me to get a painful injury, but we can see GT120 in there. Lighting is kind of bad, but uh, if we pull that out, there's the card. And, um, where's my mag light? Not that you guys would know. Um, let me see if I can find that somewhere. I had it literally five minutes ago. Hmm. I guess that's how life works. Things just go missing after you have them. So it's somewhere around here, but you know what, I'm not, I'm not, it's a video, I'm not going to make you guys wait. So um, if we look in here somewhere, we have uh, two six pin connectors behind where my finger is. You guys can't see that because the lighting is pretty bad. So we're going to take this cable. This is a uh, six pin PCIe power. And slot that into um, the first. Sorry, my head's probably in the way. Oh, 
Is that in? Looks like it. So now that that power cable is in, we will take, uh, if we look on the 5770, we can see a six pin in there. Actually, we'll remove this slot cover as well. And um, as we're sliding the graphics card in, we'll plug that in. And then just slot that in. So we have our 5770 installed. And now in slot four, this one, we will be installing our GT120 again. So that's a lot easier. We can just slide the card in. I can't see where I'm going with it though. So hopefully nothing gets damaged and or broken in the process. So let me just set that along there. Just dangling out of the system. Stuck around the charger and over it and get another gaping wound because uh, there's a chip in the wall that's really sharp. And um, you will, you can see me just fiddling with it there. And my head's in the way again. And this is gonna be real bare to get in, so let me just step around again. I love how I said it would be easier and then it takes like twice as long already. That's not it. There we go. Now that that's in, we can um, take the fan, move it back to lock the uh, cards in place, and uh, screw the uh, cover back on. So, put that down there. Slide that upside down. As I no doubt mark the heck out of the inside of the Mac Pro even more than it is. And screw those little thumb screws that are uh, really pesky to get once the uh, GT120 is installed because it's slightly larger than the slot. Come on. You have to get it to catch a bit of thread there. No. Nope. There we go. Got it. So we just screw that in. And there we go. Now that that's installed, we can continue to the uh, hard drives. So if we look up here, We'll see uh, bay one and bay two, and uh, we'll slot out here. We'll pull out bay one first, and gaze down upon it. And you can see there's already a two and a half to three and a half inch adapter in there. It's because these screws are almost stripped, and uh, I don't want to damage them any further. So we'll just go ahead and slot that in. And uh, shoot, where did I put these screws for it? Oh god, those uh, are lost, aren't they? It's okay, I have two more that I can use. Oh no, no, there. I put them in the SSD, in right there. So, we'll just unscrew those. And, uh, that was a bit of a panic moment. I thought I lost the uh, screws for my hard drive, or my SSD. So we'll relive that, so we'll put that in. Then I'm gonna be screwing it in there because I can't access those screw holes. And as I drop one. So it's a pretty light SSD. I'm not gonna worry about it like falling out or getting damaged by its uh, single side screwiness. Hard drives are a different story, so if we pan up, empty tooth, 
Looks like a lot, like a lost tooth if I can speak. And we'll just slot that in. So we have a uh, 512 gig SSD and we'll remove bay two. Take our hard drive and flip it over a couple times. It's like our origami. And just screw that in. Mac Pro hard drive base screws are pretty easy to strip, just a warning in case you're looking into getting one. As the MacBook Pro goes to sleep in the background. And you can see up there, we'll just push that in. And um, over here, push down the upper and the drives are locked in. Um, yeah, now that that's over, we'll go back over here and uh, pull that open again. Ooh, am I zoomed in? I'm not zoomed in, that's not good. So let me move the tripod back way further and kind of move it up a bit. Nice aerial view of the Mac Pro. And we'll take the side panel, pop that back on, and close her up. So, that's it for this video. Um, next video we'll be installing OS 1010 on the Mac Pro. And yes, I know OS 10 El Capitan is out, but I don't have an El Capitan installer, so I will upgrade to El Capitan once that is, once Yosemite is installed. So, uh, thanks for watching, um, look forward to the next video, uh, and uh, I will see you, see you in that video. Uh, we will be, like I said, installing 1010 on the Mac Pro, and my G5 looks really dented from this angle, and I'm scared now because I dropped a Mac Pro on it, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, uh, Yosemite installation.